Raylene, obviously a disappointing day today, but what was your reaction to after the vote this morning? Yeah, very disappointed. Uh, we'd really put our best foot forward. The support that we've had from New South Wales and the federal government was truly outstanding and we know that we put a compelling case together and the presentation went well, but unfortunately uh, we didn't get the votes on the day. What, what do you think was the difference or what was the feedback that you guys got in the room? The feedback was that our presentation and our um, pitch was was outstanding, and it was a you know a, a neck and neck race. And I think you know there's no doubt the Black Ferns, with their success, um, influenced the outcome at the end of the day. And for women's rugby in Australia, obviously there's been a lot of growth and a lot of progress in that area. What does this change your approach that going forward? It doesn't change anything from a developing our Wallaroos team. It just means now that we won't be playing on home soil, we'll be going across the Tasman to, to try and win that World Cup. So um, it gives us a great opportunity. It's in our time zone. It's all that focused area. So whilst disappointing that the girls won't get, get to play at home, they'll still get a huge amount of support from their families who will be able to travel to New Zealand to watch them play. Yeah, is that, I guess, in some ways a bit of a silver lining that it is going to be in the Southern Hemisphere? It's still a really historic day for women's rugby. It is a historic day for it to be in the, in the Southern Hemisphere and, and that's something that it hasn't um, been before. So it, it is historic and we need to celebrate that right at the moment. We all just feel a little bit disappointed. And looking forward, obviously there's another World Cup in 2025. Are you guys looking at potentially bidding for that one? Yeah, I think that's something that we'll have to consider now. You know, when you um, you know go through these processes, you need to take stock and, and have a look and see. So that is a possibility. I think, you know, we've also on record that we're keen to bid for the Men's World Cup in 2027. So very quickly our focus moves to that now.